MCB is the most important component of a power distribution system. It provides safety and proper operation of the system. It is essential to ensure its working by testing the same. And this is why with this demonstration, I'm going to explain the testing of MCB. From this experiment, you will be able to test MCB by performing load test and you will be able to select suitable MCB for different applications. You all are well familiar with the word MCB. So what is MCB? A MCB or a miniature circuit breaker is an electromagnetic device that carries a complete molded insulating material. MCB is designed to automatically work to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by overcurrent. Its basic function is to interrupt current after a fault is detected. Fault may be short circuit fault or overload. For testing MCB, we are going to use this testing kit which is available in our switchgear lab. The front panel of this MCB testing kit includes main MCB. This particular MCB we can have its use as a switch as well as it will work as a switch gear or protecting device. This is a digital counter which will show you the exact time after which your circuit breaker tips. This is a voltmeter ammeter on this ammeter you will be able to have the exact value of amount amount of current which is flowing through that particular circuit at this particular position we are having mcb which is under test here you will find three switches switch s1 s2 and s3 now i will show you the actual internal diagram and from that diagram you will understand the exact use of S1, S2 and S3. Today, to perform this particular testing of MCB, we are going to operate only third switch that is S3. And here one more thing is there that is auto transformer or variac. It is just to adjust the value of current flowing through the circuit. Okay, so this is a basic circuit diagram of our MCB testing kit. In this particular in this particular diagram, you will find that we are going to perform MCB test. We want to test the MCB with the help of load test. But as in our lab, we are not having higher rating load or load bank. So instead of that, what we are doing here, we are conducting just like a short circuit test. So here one transformer is there which is available inside that particular kit and on the secondary of that particular transformer we are having different switches. So as I shown you S1, S2 and S3. So you are able to conduct a short circuit test just by pressing S1 on. If you want to perform fuse test then with the help of this second switch you will be able to carry out fuse test. But as our interest is in testing MCB, today we are going to operate only switch number 3 that is S3. And in this particular circuit, we are able to control the applied voltage for conducting this particular test. As it is a short circuit test, so naturally you need to apply very low voltage across the primary and that is why we are having variac with the help of which we are able to apply the required voltage. Now in this particular case we are having one MCB. Its rating is 6 ampere. So rated value of that MCB is 6 ampere. So we are able to circulate the amount of current 6 ampere and above 6 ampere. Actually 6 ampere is the rated value and our interest is to test the MCB and MCB will trip only and only when the rated it, uh, the magnitude of current exceeds its rated value. So we need to circulate more than rated value that is more than 6 ampere. 
and for that we are having this very egg just by changing the applied voltage we are able to address the amount of current flowing through this secondary side and that is how we are performing this test before conducting actual experiment i would like to introduce few basic things related to this mcb now this is single fold mcb which we are having on our testing kit actually how it looks this is produced manufactured by legrand company its uh, code is rx3 and its description in its description you will find lot of things actually it is b characteristic mcb here b6 is shown so this b indicates it is a b characteristic mcb with 10k braking capacity so here you will find 10000 so that is 10k so its capacity braking capacity is 10k which is mentioned here only one more thing you will find that is its symbol so such type of symbol is available here now this is operating knob just by making it to make it on and off you have to press this dolly it is called dolly so this operating lever you need to operate to make the system on and off so here at this stage at this particular position you will find its symbol here in this description it is noted that thermal magnetic circuit breaker that is mcb with positive contact indication for control protection against short circuit and overload and isolation of electrical circuit so this is what actual function which is carried out by this particular mcb in this particular symbol you will find this pulse type wave wave uh, shape this pulse indicates you that this mcb gives you protection from short circuit and this bump shows you that it is going to give you protection from overload also so short circuit and overload what type of protections are getting provided by this mcb these mcbs are available in different ratings this is specifications uh, provided by manufacturer so for details you can read it just now in the specification chart you came in to know that we are conducting experiment on class b type mcb so this class b or b type characteristic is giving you the tripping curve or tripping nature of that particular mcb so it is important for you to know about the types of mcb what type to use for different appliances for the correct electrical system here with i am sharing the selection chart or the criteria to make a call on the mcb but before that it is very important to understand what do you mean by trip curve so trip curve or trip curves are essentially nothing but the maximum current that a particular mcb can withstand once the ideal current loading is breached the circuit automatically cuts off a type b mcb trips when the current is 3 to 5 times the rated current with an operating time of 0.04 to 13 seconds so what we are going to see in our experiment we are going to check the same thing as our mcb is of rating having rating 6 ampere it is uh, b type characteristic so this particular mcb whenever current reaches to 3 times to 5 times of its rated value so 3 times means 18 ampere to 30 ampere in that range then that particular mcb will trip within 0.04 to 13 second so if it operates within this period it means your mcb is okay it is used purely for a purely resistive loads that are non inductive loads or with a very small inductive load which has no considerable amount of inductance so it is very clear that b curve mcb is used for the protection of circuits with equipment that does not cause surge current like lightning 
and distribution circuits. So it is best fit for residential applications and domestic appliances with mainly resistive load. So whenever you want to install any MCB in your for your residential purpose, in that case you have to go for type B type MCB. Such type of characteristic you will find after performing this experiment. So by performing the experiment, you will have to note down the readings, and from that readings, you will be able to plot this particular graph. Definitely, you have to plot this graph on logarithmic paper, not on your simple paper. Here you will find on x-axis release current in terms of x into r n. So it is very clear while plotting such type of characteristic, trip core characteristic or inverse characteristic of MCB, you need to have either multiplying fact, uh, multiple of current or PSM, plug setting multiplier on x axis. So we are not considering exact amount of current that is 6 ampere, 7 ampere, 3 ampere, 14 ampere, not like that. But instead of that, what we are considering here, multiple of that current. So if you are applying 12 ampere, it means it is double of your rated value. So here you have to consider 2. If you are applying load of 18 ampere, in that case you have to consider it 3. Likewise, you need to consider x axis and on uh, y axis you are having tripping time. So with that particular time you will be able to note from digital counter and after that you will able to plot such type of graph. Here you will find that at zero current or at rated value, it can withstand for a longer duration. But if the magnitude of current applied increases, if it varies from three to five times, then in that case it trips. Instantaneous tripping is expected. That is, this is a particular area in which your class B type MCB works. This chart is for your reference which indicates you type of particular MCB and here its applications. So in, in fact there are type A, B, C, D, K and Z type MCBs with its tripping current and operating time. You can notice uh, note down it from this particular slide and its application. Now class B type curve, it is designed for cable protection, for example, control circuits and lighting circuits. So for domestic purpose, we are preferring type B curve MCB. So here with, I'm going to share actual demonstration on this MCB testing kit. So just go through this particular video. You will understand the basic diagram or basic structure of this testing kit. Now we are performing the actual experiment on MCB testing. So to start it, first you need to make the main MCB on. You need to check value of digital counter, whether it shows you zero or not. If it shows some value, then with the help of this knob, you have to make it zero. You have to reset it. You are having this MCB under test. Make it on. Make the main switch S3 on. And then with the help of this very act, you need to apply the value of rated value of current. So rated value is 6 ampere. So now here I am going to apply 10 ampere and we will see within which how much time your MCB trips.
So now your first reading is whenever we are circuiting 10 ampere current, it is 1.6 times that of rated value. It takes 29 second. Now again repeat the same procedure. I am going to set here 18 ampere current. And when 18 ampere current flows through the system, what happens? Just see. So second reading is whenever we are allowing 18 ampere current it is three times that of rated value 3 I N. So at that time it trips within 9 second. Now follow the same procedure again take down third reading. Now take down last reading, fourth reading. Note down the reading shown here. After plotting the graph, you will find such type of nature, inverse characteristic and that is of type B in which it operates if your rated current values varies from 3 times to that of Five times. This is how MCB testing is carried out. Thank you.